Tesla CEO Elon Musk shocked the investment community on Tuesday, August 7th, when he surprisingly announced his intentions to take the company private at $420 a share in what would be the biggest management-led buyout in history. The news sent shares to rally 11% to $379 for the day, but the gains were quickly reversed in subsequent trading days as no other transaction details were provided, causing investors to question the validity of Musk's claims. In a traditional leverage buyout, acquirers fund the majority of the transaction with debt secured by the company's assets and cash flow. With over $9 billion of net debt and no historical EBITDA cash flow, we believe securing debt financing for a traditional leverage buyout would be challenging to say the least. We believe the more likely outcome would involve new equity sponsors alongside Musk and existing shareholders rolling over their equity in a new entity. One possible scenario would involve roughly 50% of existing shareholders, including Musk and his 20% stake, rolling over their equity in a new entity. This would require at least $27 billion of new equity financing to buy out existing shareholders who choose to tender. We believe potential partners include the venture capital and private equity community, as well as foreign investors. Although the $420 takeout price is at a 23% premium from where shares opened the day of Musk's announcement, we argue the price is too low and does not properly account for Tesla's growth prospects, especially as the company continues to ramp up production of the Model 3 and marches towards profitability in the second half of the year. Tesla has unprecedented demand, including the largest vehicle backlog in history, consisting of over 400,000 Model 3 pre-orders and has a pipeline of future vehicles that provide material catalyst for long-term growth beyond 2020. We believe Tesla is at an inflection point and is about to transform itself from burning $3.5 billion of cash in 2017 to generating over $1 billion of free cash flow and over $5 billion of EBITDA by 2020. Our 2019 PMV of $435 a share goes to $506 in 2020.